It happened in New Jersey. It happened in New Mexico. And next door in Colorado. A disturbing political trend. An October surprise. False charges brought up the last weeks of a campaign. If candidates can't win on the issues, they use character assassination as plan B. Making somebody guilty and uh, having them work to prove their innocence. Let's say you decided to make a difference and serve your community and state. After years of dedicated service on the eve of your re-election, headlines appear in the media accusing you of bribing a colleague. Charges you know are not true. How do you get the truth to your constituents? The clock is ticking, and the target was Greg Hughes. An effort to besmirch somebody who had been very effective in the legislature. It was a shock to me, and I immediately called my wife and explained that there had been some uh, baseless allegations made against me and that we were going to fight it. We were going to do all we can to clear my name and to let the truth be, uh, be told. What is the October surprise? What's going on in Utah this year is something tried and true that's been going on around this country the last few years. The allegations are made right before the election, uh, and then after the election they're found to not be true. Guilty until proven innocent. Most people don't realize that after the allegations were leaked, Greg Hughes is the one to call for his own ethics investigation to clear his own name. The whole strategy is you pile on as many complaints as possible, whether they're legit or not, just to make the time march on. Because as long as you can keep the question floating around in voters' heads during the time of elections, you've won the battle, right or not. The Republican Party and the entire legislature was tried in the media. How constituents could go to the polls, make a vote of conscience uh, about me, with the kind of things that they were hearing from credible media outlets, uh, allegations that were being repeated over and over again. And so it was very important to me to, to defend myself. They're pulling out all of the stops, and they want the public to mistrust the legislature, the legislative process, and elections in general. But to start this way and say, hey, this guy is guilty, and have it on every channel, and everything you have to do is to bring yourself back to innocence? It, it isn't right. But no, there wasn't any bribe offer. Karen Burke says the charges against Hughes are a campaign trick. If you look on the website for the contributions for Lisa M. Johnson, who is running against Representative Hughes, the single largest contributor is Alan Smith, counsel for Representative Reese. He showed finance records to prove one of the attorneys against his client donated $2,000 to Lisa Johnson, the Democrat running against Greg Hughes. It hasn't happened in Utah uh, to the degree you've seen it elsewhere, but it is being employed now. And it, it, it has a very specific uh, motivation and outcome in mind, and that is to displace or, or to oust the elected official that you're accusing. It smears the good names of good men and women who are running for public office, and it's wrong. Greg Hughes uh, found innocent. Greg Hughes was officially cleared of the ethics charges against him. 30 counts, all dismissed. Greg Hughes was found innocent of all charges by a bipartisan panel of four Democrats and four Republicans. One of those charges, the complainants brought nine witnesses, all of whom could not and would not corroborate the accusation. And in fact, one of whom said, I've never met Greg Hughes in my life. Every charge was dismissed. And it's my goal that I can communicate the real issues and the critical issues to my district and be sent back and I won't slow down. You know, Utah's better than this and we don't deserve this type of unethical, false accusations right before an election. I'm in a 65% Republican district. I'm a conservative Republican legislator, well on my way to winning, winning my re-election when this hit. I'm now in the race of my life, and if this were to succeed, you can expect in the state of Utah to see more of the same.